Alright, welcome back. This is Mr. Polarski. Today we're going to be talking about triangle congruence by side, 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 and side, angle, side. Forgot to type triangle in there, so let's just make a picture of a triangle. Triangle congruence. Postulate 41. Now, this postulate is specific to the textbook I use in class, but side, side, side postulate or side, 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 you can use SSS. You should say side, side, side. If three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So if AB is congruent to XY, AC is congruent to XZ, and BC is congruent to YZ, then triangle ABC is going to be congruent to triangle XYZ. If we can show all three sides of the triangle are congruent, then the triangles are congruent. Here we have a proof using side, side, side. I always suggest you copy the diagram down without any congruent marks on it if your book uses congruent marks. We're given that segment AB is congruent to segment CB and segment AD is congruent to segment CD. We need to prove triangle ABD, that's this triangle here, A. B, D, triangle on the left, congruent to triangle C, B, D, C, B, D, the triangle on the right. And little hint, we're going to be using side, side, side. So we write down the given, which I've already done, and you mark the given, A, B, congruent to C, B, and A, D, congruent to C, D. Remember, we're using side, side, side. We have two pairs of corresponding sides congruent. So we're going to look to prove this congruent, BD, congruent to itself. No, that would be the reflexive property of congruence. reflexive property of congruence and we have all three sides congruent so we have proved that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD and that's by the side 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 postulate Here we have an additional example. We're given that segment AX is congruent to segment AY. This segment here, AX is congruent to segment AY. M here is the midpoint of XY, which means we're going to be able to establish that MX is congruent to MY. We won't mark that just yet. And we need to prove the triangle AMX. AMX, the triangle on the left, is congruent to the triangle on the right, triangle AMY. So the first thing we're going to work with from our given is that M is the midpoint of XY. Since M is the midpoint, we can state that XM is congruent to YM. And that would be because of the definition of midpoint. We can also establish that AM is congruent to itself. And that's because of the reflexive property of congruence. And again, we've established that three pairs of corresponding sides are congruent, which allows us to put our proof statement in. We've proved that triangle AMX is congruent to triangle AMY. 
And again, that's by the side, side, side postulate. Next, we have the side angle side postulate, or SAS for shorthand in proofs. If two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent to two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Key words here, really, that might be new to you would be the included angle. And in triangle ABC, if I was referring to angle B, angle B would be included between side AC, or I'm sorry, side AB, and side BC. Notice angle B and B is a part of each side. It's the included angle. Angle B is made up of side AB and side BC. Here we are in example two, using side angle side. Given that segment RS is congruent to segment TK, what other information is needed to prove triangle RSK congruent to triangle TKS by side angle side. Given that the top and bottom are congruent, there are corresponding sides in the triangles, we can show that KS is congruent to itself by the reflexive property So we need to show that this angle in here, angle RSK, is corresponding to and congruent to angle TKS to prove the triangle RSK congruent to the triangle TKS. These would be the included angles. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to check out video two on this section on side angle side and side side side. I'll be talking about side 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 postulate.